life and establishes equal protection. The U.S. Constitution protects life and establishes equal protection. Even the South Carolina Republican platform that I subscribe to acknowledges life at conception and provides for equal protection. Our Lord says, thou shalt not kill, many of you know that. It also says, interestingly, in Proverbs 24, 11, we are to interpose or intervene for those who are being delivered unto death and ready to be slain. Christ has done that for us. How can we not do that for our preborn neighbors? We need to protect life, but we also need to uphold our Constitution. The bill here and the First Amendment that's up states that a physician may perform an abortion. That violates the Constitution. South Carolina law should never have those provisions. My bill, my amendment here, puts the protection for life at conception in the homicide code and in the assault code where it belongs. It, it provides for a duress defense. There's no other crimes that you can claim, you, you can claim a duress defense for all kinds of other crimes except murder, but there needs to be that provision in this bill to allow for mothers who are forced or threatened to have their abortion. Also provides due process, all the same due process that's in all the other criminal code. It, you're innocent until proven guilty, and you, they must have reasonable cause if you're going to charge somebody with uh, murder. It also protects doctors. The whole idea whether they're treating uh, patients is whether the treatment intentionally or unintentionally kills the baby. So there's all kind of protection for that. It, it provides testimony. Uh, they can, the uh, defendant can be can testify and grant be granted immunity under this, which can increases transparency about what really happened in this situation. And that's it. Really doesn't change any of the other laws in the criminal code. Uh, again, it, the the assault charges are just the same uh, as the uh, the bill says. So um, the only last thing I want to say is that. Uh, we have three choices. You believe these children have a right to life. You believe they're not children at all. Or you're okay with picking some to live and some to die, which is unconstitutional. I am trying to offer a pathway for South Carolina and abortion now and still protect these children and still not violate our Constitution. Thank you. Sure. His time's up. Who? Representative McCravey wishes to speak against the amendment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I, I share my colleague's passion for life, and I believe that he comes from a, from a place that is a good place. The problem with this amendment is, is that um, it would allow the prosecution of women for murder who commit an abortion. Now, I can understand people that, that feel strongly about that. I know people that do. Um, but, you know, God is a God of mercy as well as a God of justice. And this is one of those issues that I think, you know, we differ on. And, and uh, so I'm going to vote against this uh, for that reason, not because I don't believe that, that human life deserves equal protection. It does. And I, I certainly agree with that 100%. But, but if we establish this as the law, I think it would be going too far uh, to prosecute women f in, that, in that, that sense. You know, we, in, the, in the bill that we're, we have before us, uh, women are not prosecuted. They're not even prosecuted for a misdemeanor because they have to live with that decision the rest of their life. So we heard from some of those women too. And they were, they were regretting what they did many years ago. Some of them were talked into it by a brother. Some of them were talked into it by a mother. Some of them were drugged down there with their, with their, by their boyfriend. And they're victims, too. So we believe that a lot of these women are victims and that we don't need to punish them further for what they've been through. So I'm going to vote against this amendment, Mr. Speaker. Rep Representative King, you're next to speak against the amendment. Representative Johnson, you were next on the list. I just wanted to point out the hypocrisy. <laughs> That's it. I just had a few words to say. We want to protect life at certain times, and at other times we don't want to protect life. I just want to bring up that one small point there, the simple fact that we 
we're for the death penalty, we're for the shield law, we believe in God and God of justice, we believe in all that, and then we get here and we want to say, oh no, we got to do this. Can y'all make up your mind, please? <laughs> please, make up your mind where you want to stand for. Thank you. Any question is adoption of amendment number seven. Perhaps Mr. Brandon Newton moves to table. Representative Harris asks for a roll call. Do nine members second Representative Harris's request? Nine do. Voting on the board, the question is tabling amendment number seven. Clerk will close the polls and tabulate by a vote of 66 to 32. Table, amendment number seven is tabled.